Okay, so it really finally just happened. About two hours ago, I got an email from OpenAI. And when you get an email from OpenAI, I don't know what it is, I always get really excited because it's always some good stuff, right? Whether it's them introducing new and better models or reducing the prices of current ones. And in this case, it was a really good message as well. Because finally, they released the ChatGPT API, allowing you to interact with ChatGPT programmatically and that at a very reasonable price as well. So along with the ChatGPT API, there's also the new OpenAI Whisper API, which costs you about six or 0.006 dollars per minute of audio translated. But that's kind of besides the point. In this video, I want to cover the ChatGPT API because I think that's what we're all most looking forward to. Now, I truly think the ChatGPT API will be an incredible tool for all of us. You can build your own programmatic workflows with ChatGPT completely automatically. I'm going to be able to integrate this into my startup so to get even better uh, text completions and sentence synthesizing and I'm just overall really excited for this because ChatGPT as a tool itself is super cool and it is also free if you use the actual UI whereas the API will actually cost you a bit of money. Okay as you can possibly tell I'm really excited for this and this is how you can get started with ChatGPT API right now. So first off we want to initialize a new Node.js project or go to any server or I think you could even do this client side if you really wanted to but you probably shouldn't because we're going to be using an environment variable so you don't want that leaking client side. Okay now that we have that we want to import the configuration and an open AI API from the npm package open AI. If you don't have that yet you can go and install it. It's this package right here open AI npm we're going to install this one. It's just, you know, some utility helpers to help us interact with the um, library. It's got a ton of installs. And then we want to configure a new configuration that we pass the environment variable. You can name this however you want and you can get this API key from the official OpenAI website. When you've done that, we are going to export the OpenAI API. Actually, we don't even need to export that. And we are going to pass the configuration and that's all done. And that is fully typed out, by the way, that's super convenient in this library. So now we're going to call one function that we're going to call whatever we want that is going to be asynchronous. And we're also going to call that. And in here, we're going to await an open AI dot create chat completion. And then here, we're going to pass a very specific syntax that this endpoint demands, which is the model of GPT dash 3.5 dash turbo and then a messages array. Now these two are mandatory and then there's a lot of other objects that, or options that we could pass. Um, log it bias, the presence penalty stop, we could stream the response and so on. But for now we're just going to pass the messages array and in here each object has to have a role and also the content. So the role of system is what you initially want to provide for ChatGPT as context. So the context in this case would be you are a helpful chatbot and then the user response that we are kind of emulating. So what you kind of type in is the content of who won the Super Bowl 2023. And now if we save that and run yarn dev, we can take a look at the response. Actually, we still need to log that out. And to do that, we are simply going to stringify the res.data.choices. Now we can save that, clear the screen and try this again. So now we are providing the context of you're a helpful chatbot and then asking ChatGPT who won the Super Bowl. And it says, you know, it hasn't happened yet because its data is not so recent, but that is how you interact with the API. Now there's another role and this is fully typed out by the way. So you can see role, content and name. And the other role is assistant. So this would be you telling ChatGPT what it previously answered as far as I understand, which is really interesting. And you can see the full guidelines right here on the official OpenAI website that I'm also going to link below that explains exactly the syntax that you can use to interact with ChatGPT and also the format of the responses. Now, you might ask, Josh, how much money is it going to cost me? And the answer is it will cost you 0.2 cents for 1000 tokens. Now, if you've never ever used the OpenAI API, 
you can imagine one token as about one word, right? It's not exactly one word, but one token is about one word. And then you can kind of do the math about 1000 tokens for 0.2 cents. So that is 10 times cheaper than the Da Vinci models, which provide really solid output, the best output previously. And now for a 10th of that price, you get an even better output with ChatGPT, which I think is absolutely insane. And I'm really excited what people are gonna build with this and maybe you are even gonna build your personal workflow and automations with the new ChatGPT API. Now before this release there was actually an unofficial API that started out with web scraping. Interesting enough so somebody built a tool that you gave your username and password for, Ch for ChatGPT and then you could you know log in through the browser kind of so that was a super unreliable because you're relying on CSS selectors in the case of Puppeteer and then b it's also super slow. And now with the official API, that's solved. As you could see, the responses are quite fast, they're really good, and if you build something cool, let me know what you build, because I'm really excited to see it. Okay, that's it for the video, now go out, try the API, do something cool with it, and then let me know. That's it for this video, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next one when we're gonna cover um, React context, that's gonna be the next topic. Alright, have a good one, and bye bye.